Good morning. It's uh, Jeremy. It's Monday, March the 16th, 2020. Uh, the world is undergoing a COVID-19 crisis, but I'm here this morning to talk to you about mathematics. In particular, I want to talk to you about Scilab and Psychoslab. Uh, they're very similar programs, and I use these programs in all my work, specifically uh, in my latest ebook, uh, Celestial Navigation Basics and Equipment. I'm using uh, Psychoslab and Scilab. In my previous book, High Frequency Radio Telecommunications, Learn by Simulation, I use Psychos Lab extensively. And uh, in the first ebook I came out with, Learn Telecommunications by Simulation, I also use the programs there. The two programs, Psychos Lab and Scilab, are very similar. Um, I think they were developed as one program. Uh, they were developed by INRIA, uh, that's a research institute in France. Uh, I think they were originally Unix programs and they took a bit of a fork in terms of development and Psychoslab went a certain way in terms of graphics and Scilab went another way, but they're very similar uh, in the way we're going to look at today. The visual toolbox for Psychoslab is called Psychos and I use it exclusively in my work because it has a telecommunications toolbox called Modnum. Scilab has a different uh, visual toolbox called XCOS it doesn't have the telecommunication blocks. Uh, so when we use the uh, visual blocks, I stick to Psychos Lab and Psychos. Uh, in terms of the console programming and the script files, either Scilab or uh, Psychos Lab will do. Um, in terms of um, the programming language, when you enter uh, simple expressions and variables into uh, Scilab or Psychos Lab, it's just like almost like a calculator. Uh, you can run programs uh, in, the, uh, in the software, and the programs are very much like uh, the C language. So if you know any programming language, for instance, I learned Fortran way back uh, in 1968. My first course was, I think it was Automation 444. I learned Fortran on an IBM 360. Uh, so if you know Fortran or C or BASIC or Python, the expressions are very similar. Uh, the syntax is a little bit different, so all you have to do is go into help uh, and find out what the exact syntax of, let's say, an if or a for, or a loop command, um, and, and it'll tell you there. Uh, so let's uh, let's look uh, actually at uh, at the desktop. And so now what I'm going to do is let's look at how to download these programs. So let's look first at Scilab. So here's the Scilab website, www.scilab.org and you can see you can download Scilab directly uh, from the website. It has a Windows, Linux, and Mac, ver Mac version. In terms of Psychoslab, uh, it's www.psychoslab.org and if you click here you can download uh, Psychoslab directly from their website. Now, um, what I do with Psychoslab is I have a link on my website under Signal Simulation and uh, there's a specific link, so it's a version of Psychos Lab that has the Visual Toolbox Psychos and ModNum together. So if you're going to be doing any telecommunications work, you probably want to go to this link and get the two together. If you go to Psychos or Psychos Lab and download the latest version, you'll have to download ModNum separately. Um, so it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but here, if you get it on this link, you get them together. So okay, so that's the download and installation. Let's look at what they look like uh, when you're in, when you've installed them. So here is Scilab. So when you open up Scilab, this is what it looks like. On the left hand side here, you have um, your directory structure, so you can choose where you want to save your programs. Here is what we call a console, and this is where you'll enter your expressions. For instance, we can say a equals one, variable a equals one, b. Uh, equals 2 and let's figure out what a plus b is so I'm just it's almost like a calculator in this in this mode of operation so I've defined two three variables a b and c and c is equal to sum of a and b and you can see in this window here it shows you the variables you've created and how they're represented and um, here's a bit of a command history now if you want to write a program in other words if you wanted to put all this in a program and run it then you would use the um, Notes application. Okay, so in Notes, basically you create your program 
and run it. I'll show you that in Psychoslab in a minute. In terms of the visual toolbox, you'd go under Applications, you go to Xcos, and there's your visual toolbox. Like, for instance, you can drag these blocks over here and uh, create all sorts of different um, circuits and everything and simulate them visually. So that's uh, Scilab. Let's look at um, uh, let's look at Psychoslab. So here's Psychoslab. So here, when you open up the program, you just see the console. You don't see the other uh, boxes that you did in Scilab. You could if you wanted to. I think under Preferences, you can look at other toolbars if you want. So again, we can write um, we can enter variables a equals one, b equals 2, uh, C equals A plus B, and we get a result. Uh, one thing, um, if you, for instance, put A uh, equals 2 with a, semico with a semicolon, what happens there is it's, the result is not printed out, but it's stored in memory. So the semicolon just uh, enters the command, but it doesn't uh, save the value. If we want to create a program, uh, just like um, in Scilab, we click here under Editor, and now we can write a program to do the same thing. So let's do that. Two forward bars will be comments, so you can put your comments in here. You might want to put your name uh, and a date just to document your code, and let's say a equals 4, semicolon, B equals 6, semicolon, C equals A plus B. So now I've created a program. I've defined three variables, A, B, and C, taken the sum. I can run this program now by just clicking here, Execute, load into Scilab, and there we see our result, C equals 10. Now. One of the things that I do uh, a lot in um, Celestial Navigation, that ebook, is I work a lot with plane trigonometry and spherical trigonometry. So one of the things about a Scilab and Psychos Lab is that they handle angles in terms of radians. They don't ha handle angles in terms of degrees. On a calculator, if let's say you have a Casio or a Texas Instrument or some other calculator, you normally can program in there whether you want to work in radians or degrees. If I put in, um, for instance, let's go down here. If I put in, let's say, sine of 45, uh, whoops, sine of 45, it's going to give me the wrong answer because it's treating 45 as 45 radians. Okay, so you have to work, uh, you have to convert your, your, your degrees into. Um, into radian. So let's write that into our program here. Let's define an angle. Angle D equals, let's say, 45. So that's your angle in degrees. So now uh, the angle in radians is going to be equal to. Now we know that uh, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So if the radius is 1, then the circumference is 2 pi. So that's 360 degrees is 2 pi, or 180 degrees is pi. So it will be equal to angle D divided by 180 star percent pi. Going here is the circumference of a circle is. Uh, 2 pi r, now if r is 1, that means 360 degrees is 2 pi, so 180 degrees is pi. So then by proportion, then 45 divided by 180 times pi will be your angle in radians, and um, there's a special symbol for pi, it's called percent pi. So let's run that now. Let's clear the uh, Clear the command window there, the console, and let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so there's our angle. Our angle is 0.785 radians, and if I was to take uh, the sine, the sine of that, 
we know the sine of uh, 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, which is 0 0.707. So let's see if that works. Sure enough, that's, that's what we get. Okay, so that's a brief uh, introduction to Scilab and Psychoslab. They're very similar in terms of using the console and uh, writing program files here. Um, the visual toolboxes are slightly different and uh, we know how to download them and where to get the programs. And in my next, uh, I'll do a few more videos and we'll look at some more features of using Scilab and Psychoslab.